Now we will add formulas for this slope. So I'm going to pick on this family and then from the mode panel choose edit family to get back to the family editor. I'm going to pick on these two surfaces holding down control and then from my icon temporary hide isolate I'm going to choose hide element. Next we'll draw another reference line from point 2 to point 4. So from the draw panel I'm going to choose reference line. My placement plane should be reference level, 3D snapping on. I'm going to pick on adaptive point 2 to 4. Escape to get out. Now what I want to do is set my work plane on this line. As with points, planes also have planes. It has an x-axis, y-axis, and two n-axis. So from the work plane, I'm going to choose set and pick right on this reference line to set the work plane. Now I'm going to place a dimension from adaptive point 2 to adaptive point 4. So I'm going to choose the align dimension and pick on the adaptive point 2, making sure I'm on the point, not on a plane or the line, to adaptive point 4 and drag that out and escape. I'm going to pick on that dimension and then I'm going to add a label for my options bar and click on Add Parameter. I'm going to call this Run. This is going to be an instance parameter. This time I'm going to turn on Reporting Parameter. For I want values to report back to me where I place the points. And then click OK. From the Properties panel, choose the icon Family Types. Then from the Family Types dialog box, I'm going to add another parameter by picking on Add under Parameters. I'm going to type in Slope and also make this an instance and then click OK. Then I'm going to type in a value here of a half of an inch. Next, I'm going to type in a formula for the offset. So under the formula column next to offset, I'm going to type in slope times run divided by 1. The 1 is needed for inconsistent units. This will report back the unit. And then click OK. Let's now unhide our surfaces. So from my Hide Isolate icon, choose Reset Temporary Hide Isolate to unhide those surfaces. Then go ahead and choose Save and load it into the project. Then choose Override the existing version. Choose the Cricut family. And over here in Properties, next to slope, type in a slope value of 3 inches. And notice the slope has now changed. You can also pick on a point of this family and notice under my dimension grouping next to measurement type, you can choose from a type of measurement. If I choose segment length, it actually shows me the segment of the length where this point is. For example, if I come in here and type in 3, and now this segment length has changed along with the slope. And now I have a cricket next to my chimney and my roof. You can pick on the model line, right click, hide and view element, can choose shaded and now I have exactly what I need.